up. Hey, hey, don't disrespect me on my life. Prior to the 5v5, the Hergovic fight was an option, and I always said if this fight can be for the world heavyweight title, then we'll fight Daniel Dubois. AJ will fight anybody. Now you've got two Brits, the world heavyweight title, 100,000 people. Anthony, uh, what's it like now, these new young heavyweights coming up that you've almost got to slay? Well, being an old man, basically. Being an older man. <laughs> <laughs> With the highly anticipated fight between heavyweight giants Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois set to take place in just one month's time, many boxing pros have been giving their predictions for who they think will come out on top and some will shock you. So be sure to stick around till the end of the video for the full details. Daniel Dubois' sparring partner Johnny Fisher has warned him Anthony Joshua to expect a tough fight when he goes up against him. Speaking to Seconds Out, Fisher said, I am definitely favoring Anthony Joshua, but not by the margin that people expect. I reckon it is like a 55-60th to a 40-45th split in favor of Anthony Joshua. Dubois can seriously whack, I have sparred him loads, his right hands can shake to your absolute core. I remember when I got hit by one, it was like an electric shock going through my body. The jab of Dubois as well, it's like a right hand. Although I can't speak about sparring Anthony Joshua, I know that Dubois ain't no joke and coming off of great wins over Jarrell Miller and Philip Hergovich, who had been the bogeyman for the last 2-3 years, to deal with him is impressive. Fans started to get on the edge of their seat for this fight following the face-to-face -face the pair had, where Dubois and AJ almost squared off right then and there. Let's go. Let's go. But let's wait till the 21st. Yeah, not in me in the middle. Please. If he wants to swing, go. Let's go now. Uh, uh, Sharp, relax. Relax. If you want to go now, let's go. Relax. If you want to go now, let's go. Chair across your face. Don't. Don't disrespect. No, you can't intimidate. Don't disrespect. Me. You can't intimidate me. Don't disrespect. You can't intimidate me, Daniel. Don't disrespect. Who do you think you are, Daniel? Don't disrespect me. Can't put this don't disrespect me on my life. No, it's okay. Come on, this little boy. Don't disrespect me. No, 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 no. Know who the this guy is? No, no, no. We do it with me. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. By doing this, you'll never miss out on any future videos from the combat sports world. Daniel Dubois knows the tough task that lies ahead of him, but believes he's more than capable of pulling off the upset and is willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done September 21st. I'm the underdog because I have to prove myself and beating him and winning this next fight will set me as a legit champion. I'm raring to go. This is everything. The big opportunity. Not only does Dubois want to defeat Joshua, but he also wants to do so inside the distance win by any means necessary, but a stoppage is definitely what I'm after. A good stoppage and a statement victory, that's what I'm all about," he said. Very confident, very sure and happy, and ready to do the business. I'm just raring to go, he added. Every day I'm working towards it, leaving no stone unturned. Just work, 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 and victory is definite. When you look at the pair's most recent training footage, it's evident how seriously they're taking this fight, as they know the magnitude of what is on the line next, which is a fight against the winner of Usyk and Fury in December. In a recent interview, Anthony Joshua's longtime friend and supporter Eddie Hearn addressed all of the doubts regarding Joshua's chin and his fragility, which many people hold against him. 
AJ has a really, really good chin. Watch the shots AJ took in the Vladimir Klitschko fight. With the right hand that would have decapitated a normal man, AJ got up from. Even with Andy Ruiz, he kept getting up. Alexander Wuzik hit him with the kitchen sink and he never had him out. Look what happened to Tyson Fury. I never saw AJ like that in that fight. AJ's got a great chin. However, the promoter of Dubois, Frank Warren, believes that this criticism of AJ is warranted because AJ constantly boasts about being the best fighter in his weight class, despite the fact that he has never been properly hit and has lost the few times he has been hit, including the fights with Andy Ruiz and Usyk, which were from jabs. Additionally, Frank underlined that the outcome of this impending bout would solely depend on who has the best jabs and who is fully in charge of both their minds and hearts. He stated, I've seen AJ when he's under pressure and how he looks when he gets under it and how he reacts. It's going to be a battle of jabs. Who's ever got the jab is the key to this fight. It's the heart, the mind, and the jab is the key to it. If there are two massive big punches, it will not go to distance. Jalel Zhang, who is another huge force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight division, gave his prediction for the upcoming clash between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois, and it may surprise you. I think he beats Dubois. Bravo. It's, it's hard to say. It's really a difficult question. Uh, let's see what their training camp looks like and what their preparation looks like. Dubois on the rise. He's, he's fantastic and uh, he has something to prove. Uh, so I think he might be a better performance on that night. You give him a chance. You give him a solid chance to, to pull off the upset, Dubois. Yeah, or what got you? Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' thoughts on this upcoming fight between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois? Could you see the underdog Dubois coming out victorious and getting a KO on Joshua? Or will AJ show the world he's still the main man in the heavyweight division? Comment down below! Following the drama that transpired during their in-person interview, in which AJ and Dubois nearly got into a brawl, many fans have expressed doubts about the legitimacy of the entire situation online, citing everything from promoters' cheap publicity stunt to poor management on the part of the organizers. Ada Oladipo confirmed that it was no stunt plan to create hype and the brawl was really about to happen. I felt it was simmering, I didn't think it would get to that where, you know, security has to get involved, but we've seen it with these face-offs. Sometimes they do need to kind of step in and I almost felt like AJ maybe looked at Dubois like you're a young kid and Daniel was like, I'm not a young kid. With the fight being just one month away, we cannot wait for this huge spectacle to take place and may the best man win come fight night. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Fight Fury for future videos from the combat sports world and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one!